Greetings and salutations, Wasteland Wanderers. Thanks a bunch for hopping back into the post-apocalyptic roller coaster that is my Fallout 4 playthrough. If you missed the last episode, you really missed out on some riveting robot waterworks action at Grey Garden. Those bots are now hydrated and living their best robotic lives. But now, dear viewers, the quest for companionship, and yeah, maybe the romantic kind, continues. I've been on a mission to recruit Kate from the combat zone, but let me tell you, getting there has been like trying to navigate a maids blindfolded with death claws as my guide. So why is Kate not at my side, I hear you say? Well, it's because of this. And this. Are you kidding me? And this. Kill everything. God damn it. And this. As the ghoul infested road to the combat zone proved to be a bit too much for my delicate sensibilities or should i say just my noob playstyle i decided to take a detour and seek solace in the arms of a certain mademoiselle of the mechanical persuasion none other than the slightly mad slightly french robotic companion Understood. darlene we're en route now to the lexington apartments to rendezvous with this tantalizingly eccentric french companion oh crap look lively ladies we've got incoming Nice one, dog mate. We're up, pup. Stepped in there. Something is shooting us. It's up there. Asshole. Can't see with that bloody light on. My pleasure. Oh, there's a turret there. Rip them to shreds. Come on, we've got to get in there. Push, ladies, come on. Kill. What's up? Sit there and power on. That way, hit Piper. Come on. If we're gonna dance, up yours. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're in power armor. Okay. We're just duck behind there. Can we? I can't even get a um, rocket launcher up there. Uh, a grenade bomb. How did the ghouls get up there? One of his buddies is down. Nice! With ghouls lurking around like over-enthusiastic groupies, I thought, why not trade the chaos for a touch of eccentricity? Darlene here is not your average robot. She's got the flair for the dramatic and a penchant for existential pondering. That's a little bit dark. The bad pit boy lights on. Hey Piper, what's the story? Ooh. I have no idea. Um Shame the blood spray doesn't affect the face. Never mind. Right, so she's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh come on. Sweet. Uh, that's frag mine. 
totally did not see that. Fuck with that. Apartment 303. Before we go in there, let's just have a little look around. What is that? Nasties. There you are. Let's oh, do it. Oh shit. Have some of that. I apologize. Come on, take him out. Lovely. Well, it's over. Wow. That's that. Okay. Don't really want dinner plate. We sit on the couch, but we don't need to right now. Edge anything worthwhile around here. Don't want to go outside. There. Right, so I think we need to go into apartment 303. There we go. Hopefully she's in here. Okay, so these aren't really the pictures I was expecting to see on the walls. Uh, you got a strange taste Excuse in the pot. I'm darling. Hello, uh, darling. I'm 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 darling. Excuse me. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just visiting. Do you think you're in a museum or something? This place is my home. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Mm. It's okay. You're welcome. So, who are you? So, I'm a time traveler. I just got back from visiting George Washington. And I'm Marie Antoinette. It's nice to meet you, time traveler. Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. Hi there. Piper Wright, Public Occurrences. And you are? I'm... I'm darling. I'm darling. I'm darling. Uh, everything okay? Are you broken? Why, why the hell are you talking like that? Broken. Analyze. System. Activated. Currently undergoing scheduled maintenance. Please wait a moment. No, I'm not broken. Good. Whoa. What the hell are you? I'm... I'm darling. Ugh. Another robot. I'm darling. Come on. Don't bullshit me. You know what? I got an idea. You look like someone who can handle himself on the road, and I need a walk. What do you mean by that? I mean, I've got a job for you. I do a job, I get paid. Sure, you'll get paid. You take me with you and we travel together. I told you, it is simple. Wait, what am I supposed to do? You don't have anything special to do. You just live your life and I follow you on the road. If you take the job, I will give you something. It's a little device that can teleport anything with a good encoded designation. Like me. It's like a drum drive, but stronger. How much are you paying? You see the suitcase? It's filled with small beans. Pre-war beans. There's about $1,000. Listen, I'm not trying to mess with you. I just want to get the hell out of here. Calm down. I'm listening. Or you want a job, or you don't. Now, tell me. Not sure if I'm up for it. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Are you kidding me? I'm giving you $1,000, an extra gun, and you still want more? I told you my conditions. Take it or leave it. Well, she's a hard bargain, isn't she? Uh... Yes, absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. So glad to get the hell out of here. 
Okay, well that's door lined. What's that? Fuck mag Polaroid. There we go. Okay. Darlene Boston come to me to me. No idea what it does. None whatsoever. So there's your suitcase with a thousand dollars in buddy? it. There's a cigar box with Hey. Ah, the dog mate, you got right in the way then. Oh, she said she had a suitcase. Ooh, she got some ammo though. Noodles. Noodles for strudels. She's got a lot of pre war money laying around. Look, farther down. What's that? Okay, so is the master out of his mind? She asked me. I nodded, and he's taking you with him. I nodded again. Where? She asked. I pointed towards the centre of the earth. Into the cellar, exclaimed the old servant. No, I said, further down than that. Jules Verne, journey to the centre of the earth. Yeah, darling, sweet roll, Tez. Tez, the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I'm going to take it, I'll leave. I'm going to leave them. I'm not sure what they do. Yeah, she has Good a little dog. pussycat. My dog, I mean, what you found? What else has she got in here? She's got loads of food. Ooh, burger. Darlene Brahmin burger. Well, she is a robot. She's got an awful lot of food. More wrap me. Everything. I wondered what I was going to see when that door opened in. I'm going to have to be a little bit careful looking around with this camera, I think. Darlene vegetable soup. Excellent. Rumple stilt skin. When the little man walked in and said, Now, Mrs. Queen, what is my name? She said at first, I equal Jack. No, answered he. I equal Harry, she asked again. No, answered he. And then she said, Then perhaps your name is Rumple stilt skin. The devil told you that, the devil told you that, cried the little man, and in his anger he stamped with his right foot so hard it went into the ground above his knee. Then he seized his left foot with both his hands in such a fury that he split in two and there was an end of Wilhelm Grimm. <laughs> you staying out of trouble? Strange glasses. What's this? I suppose from a course on the box we could read. Those glasses generate a modulated field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to another, called stealth radiation. The end result is practical invisibility, which can range from translucency to near-perfect active camouflage. Pierce, look around you, they live. What? Another, dog, another book there. Eyewear, strange glasses. Ooh, I am invisible. I am completely visible with the glasses. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to come back to normal then. That's right, nothing there. We've got the next room. How do I dog mate? Come on, boy. Scary ass monkey. She's got loads of stuff in here. Ooh. She's got loads of stuff. We sleep in her bed. Oh, she joins us. <laughs> Take a shower. We have a teddy bear. <laughs> Thanks for your help. A bathrobe. Someone broke this mirror, injuring their hand in the process. Is this some sort of quest or something like that? No, I'm not sure what's going on here. You now feel completely healthy. I like that. I need to get me an auto dock. We're completely healthy, dog meat boy. Right, one more book. The narwhal. Oh, actually, I don't want to bother reading that. Piper, you're still covered in blood. Let's get you cleaned up. Sure, take a peek. Wow, that looks so much better, Piper. 
But now you're all cleaned up, let's get you back into your uh, wasteland travelling clothes. Don't mind the clutter. Okay, let's get out of here and get back to Red Rocket. Then we can start looking about getting Kate. That's the main reason we come to get Darlene, so we actually have a few of us that are going after her. So we get past them bloody ghouls. Okay, it's starting to get dark now, and we've got a bit of a trek ahead of us. That's the UFO. The UFO. Uh, we're going the wrong way, I think. You heard that? Right? Yeah, we won't be going this way. We should go find more crap. Well, we've made it back to the Red Rocket Wasteland Warriors, and I come bearing good news and a shiny new addition to our ragtag group of misfits. Drum roll, please. Yes, you guessed it right. I've successfully persuaded the delightfully eccentric Darlene to join our crew. How's it going? This heat makes humans swallowing in their own steam. Now armed with a slightly mad, slightly French robotic companion, we're gearing up for the next chapter of our adventure. The daring quest to recruit Kate. With Darlene by our side, her chances are as bright as a freshly polished suit of power armour. Do I have a crew strong enough to uh, take on the Commonwealth or we'll get another curveball thrown at us? Stay tuned my fellow Wasteland enthusiasts as the journey continues. And there you have it, intrepid Wasteland explorers. A journey through the Commonwealth, the acquisition of eccentric Darlene and a step closer to recruiting Kate. All wrapped up in a Wasteland sized bow of adventure. If you've enjoyed the chaos, the laughs and the unpredictable twists, don't forget to wield that mighty thumbs up button like you're slaying a red roach. And for more post-apocalyptic escapades, hit that subscribe button like it owes you bottle caps. Dog meat. Hey boy.